everyone and welcome to Miscellaneous Monday. Today we're doing a Let's Play, because why not? We're going to be playing one of my favorite games, which is... Earthbound. Okay, so to start off with Earthbound, we have to start our new game and name our characters. So we always want to pick fast attack speed. Stereo, of course. And then I always like going with mint or strawberry. Uh, but you know what? Let's go with banana this time around. Okay, so our first character is traditionally named Ness, which you can choose from the don't care menu right down here. So we're going to go with the traditional names for our characters. And then this character here, her name is Paula. And our third friend here is Jeff. And our fourth is Poe, or Pooh, however you want to say it. Okay. And we have our dog. Let's have a little bit of fun with the dog. Let's see what names we have down here. Let's go with Sparky. And then I always choose Pizza. Oh, Pizza's not on here anymore. Okay, let's go Pizza. Controller's a little funny. Okay, pizza. Okay, and our favorite thing? Well, let's see what our options here are. Rockin'. Let's go gaming. Okay, so that is all of our choices, and let's go ahead and start the game. Wow. So as you're going to see in a moment, this game does takes place supposedly in the 90s. Um, it was created in the 90s. I played this as a kid, um, and I absolutely loved it. I've beaten it many times, um, and I like I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. It's a uh, JRPG. The original version of the game. Uh, was called Mother 2 that was released in Japan, but over here in the States we only got Earthbound. Uh, we did not get Mother 1 or Mother 3. You can find uh, fan translations of all three games um, on the internet. I have not played those two, but if you noticed, Ness of course is a character from Super Smash Brothers, which is what a lot of people know the character as today. So let's go ahead and get started with the game. Okay, so as you can see, you control Ness. He's in his pajamas right now. Um, since I've played this game so many times, there's a couple things I'm just going to do right off the bat because I know to do them to save some time. So this is our sister's room. I'm just going to ignore her for a second, and I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to get this present. And this present has a cracked bat. So Ness uses bats as his main weapons. So you'll ga gather these weapons as the game goes, and then you equip them here. So, I guess if we talk to our sister, she gets really mad that we open the present. Okay, she didn't get mad that time. Sometimes she gets mad. Okay, so now we're going to go downstairs and we'll see our mom. But we're not going to talk to her because she'll make us change out of our pajamas. Um, and there's our dog sleeping. So let's go ahead and investigate what that sound was. Okay, so we see all these people around and we can talk to them. We learn that there seems to be a meteorite that landed and we can talk to the police officers. That's actually a joke if you read this. On it, police are infamous, are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. We'll learn a little bit later that they've also closed the road to the next town, but we won't deal with that right now. Don't panic, it's just a, what, meteorite that, who, fell? I just wanna, what, go home. Okay, so talking to all of the people can be a lot of fun because they can say some really funky things. 
Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. And obviously he isn't. So, if we go down here, we're going to see more police officers. I'm not going to talk to all of them. I'm just going to keep following the path. <clears throat> we see another present up there, so we'll go after that. More police officers. Let's go down here and get this present. Now, this present, I believe, has a bread roll on the inside, which will... Oops which will give us more HP when we need it. All food does that in this game. Okay, so this guy is important a little bit later in the game. We're not gonna talk to him right now. Okay, we can, if we look up here, we can see the meteorite. And then over here, good old Pokey. So let's talk to Pokey. Shh, shh. Oh, I'm talking to the police officer on accident. Okay, let's talk to Pokey. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Pokey is definitely a huge jerk. He reminds me a little bit of Dudley Dursley in the early Harry Potter books. Um, he's our next door neighbor that we'll learn a little bit later in the game. So we're going to go ahead and head home because there's not really anything else we can do. And I'll show you something else really cute that will happen in the game in a second. Once we get back home. Okay, so mom's waiting for us outside. So if we tell her we don't want to go to bed, she'll make us pizza. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed if we say no. She says, you don't understand the importance of a good night's sleep. Oh, she won't give us pizza this time? I'm remembering things out of order. Okay, so now we're back to bed. And later that night, we hear a knocking at our door. So now we need to get up and investigate. Can we talk to our sister? It is a very annoying knock. Okay, so let's see who's at the door. Pokey. Hey, listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking as lovely as usual. Snicker. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landed, land, where the meteorite landed left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Piggy was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. You won't, you, won't you help me find Piggy? And of course, we're going to say yes. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to talk to our mom. Oh, sorry, I'm not reading all of these. Alright, we want to change out of our jammies. We've already got the cracked bat, so we can go straight and talk to the dog. Okay. Who are you talking to? I'm trying to talk to the dog. Do you want me to go with you? Yes. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Sparky has joined us. Okay, then of course we've got Pokey. Alright, you go out in front and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Now Pokey has joined us. And... up. Oh, the phone is a very interesting character in this game, because it's usually our dad. Hello, it's your dad. Work to the exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you, 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave, you can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. 
Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Wahahaha. Slam. Beep. Okay, so the dad puts money in your account and also saves your progress whenever you call him. So it's always a good idea to remember that. Now, now that we've reached this part of the game, we're going to start battling some enemies. So let's go ahead and go after this dog here. The enemies in this game are very interesting. You'll fight runaway dogs and random people. So we have these options here. We can bash, which is usually what I do. We don't have any psychic powers yet, but we'll get those a little bit later. We can defend, which means doing nothing at all. We can use one of our items. We can do auto fight or we can run away. So let's go ahead and do bash. As you can already see that Pokey's not doing much of anything, but Sparky's a really good ally. Oh, and we're leveling up, and now we have Life Up A. So we lost some HP, so let's go ahead and eat that bread roll we got a little earlier. Okay, let's go. Now I think in this first level we'll be battling snakes and dogs, oh, and crows. Once you reach a certain level, these enemies will actually start running away from you, which is pretty cool. Except when you're trying to, you know, um, try when you're trying to level up, which we're actually going to be doing in a little bit. Oh, we're missing these attacks. Oh, we might die. Let's go ahead and use life up. Sometimes the enemies, after you defeat them, will leave things behind, um, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's keep on moving. Hopefully we won't see any more. Oh, there's another dog. You can avoid enemies if you really try hard enough. And every once in a while, if you come up on them from behind, you'll see a green circle instead of a black circle. And that means that you got a surprise attack. Oh, there we go. And usually when you hit green, you get one of those big attacks there. Let's keep on going. There's another crow. Usually when I'm playing, I try to avoid enemies, but since I'm going to try to be, I'm going to be leveling up a little bit later to fight the first mini boss, I want to make sure, um, I guess second mini boss technically, spoiler alert. So let's, there we go. That one was a little easier to fight. Yay, more cookies. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh no, there's a snake. Now if an enemy catches you from behind, it will uh, get a, their first, the first attack, and usually, oh no, and usually it um, can be a big attack, like your green attack versus the red attack. I'm not explaining this really well, but you'll see eventually, because I know I'm going to let an enemy get the better of me in a little bit. Okay, oh, we see the pickies up there. And now we can walk through the barrier because the police officers are gone. We're going to go talk to Picky and rescue him. Oh. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. And now our greatest ally has left. So let's talk to Picky. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Now we have Pokey and Picky. And now let's go ahead and take them home. Oh, or not. Ness, do you hear a buzzing that, that sounds like a bee flying around? I don't hear it yet. Oh, come on, you must hear it. Now I hear it. Let's see what it, this is. Oh, 
A B, I am not. I'm from 10 years in the future, and in the future, all is devastation. Gigas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gigas's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gigas. Three things are of utmost importance, wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient time tell, times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gigas. I will tell you more later. Go now and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? We're going to say yes. If you say no, he's going to go through that whole spiel again. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Now that big old fanfare with the music means that you got a huge um, partner in crime there. Okay. And of course, Pokey. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Okay, let's take these two boys home and then Buzz Buzz will tell us more about our adventure. <clears throat> see any other enemies. At least not yet. Uh oh. First mini boss. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gaius's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Okay, so now we are fighting a mini boss. Okay, all I can basically do is bash, so that's what I'm gonna do. Buzz Buzz will take care of the rest. Sorry if I go too fast, it's habit. It's also a little repetitive. Usually you can use this fight, for this particular fight, usually you just do auto fight, but that's boring. So, I'm just gonna keep pressing the B button and keep on going. It's really funny reading the things that Pokey's doing, because he's no help at all. Yay, we beat him. And we are leveling up. Yeah. Awesome job. Okay, whoa, I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so he can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gigas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gigas' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Okay, so that's our house, but we're taking these guys home, which is right here. They do look like the Dursleys, don't they? That's what this is really this reminds me of. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. You can infer what you think happens here. I'm not going to go into any detail. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. 
but because of the law, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Hi! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. <laughs> Thus comes the end of Buzz Buzz. Ugh, gasp. I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See, you... Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. All right. You are a very intelligent young man and, oh, the pain, everything is getting dark. Arg, gasp. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies of from the eight your sanctuary locations onto this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No, we don't want to hear the story one more time. Good. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Arg, gasp. <clears throat> Ness got the soundstone. So we just got an important item. Buzz Buzz has passed on. And now our adventure begins. But first, let's go rest up at home. And the sun is coming up. And we have the awesome on it music. Okay, let's go, let's go talk to him. Okay, this is something I'm gonna talk about in a second, once the music goes down a bit. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Okay, so that guy pops up periodically as you play to take a picture. It's a little annoying sometimes, but also fun because if you get all of them, uh, something cool happens at the end of the game. So let's go ahead and uh, go back home, talk to mom, eat some pizza, and get some rest. And we're gonna save, actually let's save our game first. I will save our game after we rest. Here we go. Now pull on time, talk to mom please. You're back. Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some pizza and scoot up to bed. So when you sleep, um, you get revived. So you basically get all your HP and your PP, your psychic power back. And you can do this for free at some places, but once you get into the towns, you'll have to pay to stay in hotels. So it's really important that you pay attention to your money as you play. So let's go ahead and save our game. Ness, it's your dad. I deposited $40 into your bank account. Taking away what you spent, you should now have $70 in the bank. Well, experience to get to the next level? Ness, 13. Anyway, what do you need from me? Record. All done. Your dear old dad but also th was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created, of your, uh, created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. We're going to continue. Ness, you like to work hard, just like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. Click, beep, beep, beep. Okay, so let's go ahead and head into town. And then I think I'm going to do some leveling up off of the video. And come back and um, we will defeat the second mini boss. Which will allow us to go to Giant Step to do the first thing. Ooh, butterflies. Okay, butterflies are really cool. Butterflies also give you back your um, health and psychic power. So if you see those, go after them, especially if you need them. Okay, so this girl's one of my favorite girls in the game. Oh, hold on. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. So that's really important. So you go into the library. And we're going to borrow a map, because we definitely need one. Hi, kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Yep. Here's a map. 
Anand isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know, the X button located near the top? Ha ha ha. Ness got the town map. There's lots of meta stuff in this game. It actually is on the controller I'm using. It's the Y button. So I'm using an Xbox controller. But yeah, so this shows us the map. We see a shop, we see food, the hotel, and then we see the hospital and all that stuff. You can even see our house up at the tippy top. So then when we go back out and we talk to the girl we talked to before. She says my favorite thing in the game. What a cute yellow backpack. I don't know why I like that so much, but I do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some leveling up, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. to get up to level 10 before going against the next boss, but eh, we'll get more XP and that'll get us better for later. So we're gonna go ahead and try to beat him now. Um, I also got some more weapons, so I got a better bat, and I also got a better hat and a bracelet. I don't have anything for body yet, but these basically, as you can see right there, um, they help with your offense and your defense, and they make you stronger. Um, you can usually buy these things at the different stores, um, and then you can equip them and sell your old item back, because as you can see here, your inventory gets um, filled up really fast, and there are certain things you cannot get rid of. Now when you get your other companions later on in the game, thankfully you'll be able to fill up their inventories, and then a couple other things you can also do a little bit later on in the game to sort of save space. Um, but right now you sort of, as you can see, I've, I have a bunch of hamburgers that I'm going to be eating at to regain my um, HP as I fight Frank, which is the next bad guy. But um, other than that, uh, you want to make sure that you're keeping your inventory free for HP boosting items like hamburgers and also for your equipped items. Okay, let's go see if uh, we can beat Frank at level 6. I think we can. Here we go. We might see some of his bad guys. I defeated a lot of them before. So he is the leader of the gang in this uh, town. The gang called the Sharks. Um, I, and you'll see these guys down here. I defeated a lot of them to level up, but this guy doesn't want to fight me. Like if I talk to him, he'll be all like, you sound like a real whiner. Don't get lippy, I'll kick your butt. Yet he doesn't kick my butt. He doesn't want to fight. So let's go ahead out these doors and we're going to meet Frank. I'm Frank. You are? Come on. Can't you at least say your name? Here we got a big boss here. Um, we're just going to bash him as much as we can and pay attention to our health and eat any hamburgers if we need to. Let's go. He does a lot of damage. So we're going to go ahead and recover. And now we're going to bash him again. Oh, we don't need to recover yet. Okay, we'll recover now. Oh, and I died. Okay. So, when you die, everything turns red and scary and you and all that stuff. Ness, looks like you got your head handed to you. So, how about giving it another shot? Yes. So, let's try this again. Frank is a lot harder than I remember. Okay, so I think I need to redo some stuff. Hold on, let me see. Oh, I don't. Okay. I lost some half of my money, though. I didn't realize I lost money after I died. Okay. So, we don't have any more uh, um, psychic power, PP. So, we can either walk around and hope to find a butterfly. Or we can walk back home and 
rest for free, or we can pay and rest at the hotel. Let's go ahead and rest at the hotel just so I can show you what that looks like. So every town has a hotel, and you can check, actually let me show you, you can check on the sign outside how much it costs a night. Hotel on it, $35 per night for a single room. So you can check there to see how much it is and see if you can afford it. But there is always an ATM there. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to this guy, stay for the night, and I'm gonna save as soon as I wake up. And there we go, we are nice and recovered. There are lots of people you can talk to. This guy will give you the news if you talk to him. Good morning, here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headlines in the Onnit Times. Roads of Tucson still closed. Okay. I'm gonna use this phone to save. And we're gonna keep playing and he's gonna make us feel guilty about it. Okay. So let's see if we can fight some more of Frank's sharks before going back and trying to fight him. So they usually hang around this block. So if you keep walking around this block, you'll eventually run into them. Um, but they're being pretty scarce right now. Um, the enemies don't always, um, oh, there's one. Um, the enemies don't always respawn, but they usually do. Okay. Defeating two at once is great because that gives two more uh, H or XP. Okay. These guys usually die in about two hits, which is pretty good. Okay. Now we took care of both of them. Let's see how much XP we got. Oh, we got another hamburger. Let's go ahead and eat that hamburger now because we will max out our HP. Let's do another loop around the block and see if we can find any more of those guys. Anybody? Oh, yep, there's a couple. Yay. Okay, let's go after these guys. Okay. Oh, there's a dog down here. Let's get him. Now these guys will probably uh, die at one, one hit because we're a lot more powerful than we were when we first went after them. They don't give us that, that much XP though, so it's sort of a waste to go after them. It's always better to go after the sharks because they're the highest level enemies in this area. But I guess we can... Yay, a couple more. Okay, let's get this guy down here. Got two guys in here. Sometimes enemies can call for help. We're gonna meet some slugs later on in on it, and they are so annoying because they constantly call for help. They're really easy to beat, but you usually have like eight of them on the screen, and it's just super annoying. Yay, level seven. Okay, I think level seven's good. Let us go ahead and eat a hamburger. And...
see their enemies do chase you. Um, let me see. Okay, no butterflies to be found. There's the closed road to Tucson. And let's go ahead and try Frank again. It might take a couple, a couple tries, but once we beat Frank, we'll pause for this episode. And we'll play more a little later. Okay, Frank, fight me. Ooh, okay. One hit. I wasn't expecting that. That's amazing. Okay, so. Now we're gonna beat his robot here. The robot has a pattern. Um, I can't remember the pattern right off the bat. I think it is bash then heal. Um, yes. And now we're gonna heal because that's when it that's when it. So every other time it does a burst of steam or it punches you. So you want to bash when it generates steam, and then you want to heal. But I'm gonna go ahead and bash again just because I have. HP. And now I'm going to bash again because it's going to do a burst of steam. And I beat it! There we go. And Frank's defeat. Failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get the giant step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to giant step is behind the touring entertainer shack. Perkle, the mare of on it. It has a key to the shack. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Okay, so now that you've defeated Frank, he becomes a great ally because you just talk to him and he'll let you rest and you'll recover your HP and your PP. So let's go ahead and do that. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Oh, is he not going to let me do it now? Okay, hold on. Let me leave and come back. There's lots of things I forgot about this game. Now he should let us do it. Yes. Would well, you look much stronger? Would you like to rest? Yes. And now he'll you'll recover. And you can leave. And then this guy is such a jerk. He gets you every time. Yeah. Okay, let's go get the uh, key to the entertainer's shack, and then um, we'll stop there and we'll pick up next time. So let's go. So we gotta go see the mayor who is at town hall. And he's gonna get us, give us the key because he's thanking us for uh, stopping the sharks. So we're gonna talk to his secretary here. Since you beat up the shark, too, the talk of the town. Mayor Purple is waiting for you. And then we can go upstairs. And... Thank you so much for all of your help. And the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Purple. Hee hee hee. Now we're going to talk to the mayor. Hey, 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 I'm Mayor B.H. Purple. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, you punched them out big time. Kicked their butts, spit their heads off. Spit in their eyes and made them wet their pants. Then you force them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to the Tory Entertainer Shack? For something, someone as great as you giving you the key could keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. Important item. Ness got the key to the shack. Okay, let's go save, and then we'll pause our game there, and we'll pick up in another episode. So here we go. Actually, do you guys want me to keep playing this? If you like this and you want me to keep playing this, please let me know in the comments. If you want me to actually just play it straight through um, instead of pausing it so I can grind, let me know. Um, I'm probably not going to talk too much during those parts, so, um, so just let me know. There, this game is pretty long. Um, but, uh, 
but it's a lot of fun. This is one of my favorite games. This is the first video game I ever beat, um, so it means a lot to me. And as you can see now, we're, uh, these, these monsters are scared of us because we're at such a high level now, so if we go up to them, it'll automatically beat them, which is pretty cool. And we still gain some experience, even though we didn't do an actual battle. And they run from you, which is pretty funny. Okay, well, we're gonna go see Mom. So we can... Oh, I could have just gone to see Frank. Oh well, we'll see Mom. I don't know why I went all the way back up here when I didn't really need to. I just needed to save. Oh well. Okay, well this will give me more time to... Um, explain things. So yeah, so as I said, if you really like uh, what uh, this game so far, it gets a lot better. Um, so definitely, if you want me to keep playing it, let me know. Um, if uh, next time, if you'd like me to keep playing, we're going to head into the Entertainer Shack and we're going to go to Giant Step and we're going to fight all of the enemies there. And once we've done that, we're gonna fe we're gonna battle probably what I think is one of the hardest enemies in the game, um, in order to get to Tucson, which is the second town. And yeah, I think I missed the drugstore, so we'll just, we'll just save in the hotel. So we'll go in here and we'll save. Dad will tell us all this money that we have. $495 in the bank. Okay, we're gonna record and then we're gonna give him his wish and we're gonna say we're going to end our adventure. Okay, well you should turn the power off instead of pressing reset. Alright. Um, that's sort of a joke because of, you know, playing this on the Super Nintendo back in the day, you'd have to turn the power off when you were all done. Um, so yeah, so that is Earthbound so far. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye!